So first let me say that uranium is present kind of naturally in soils and sediments as solid phase minerals. And when they're, you know, in the soils and sediments as these minerals, they're relatively immobile and harmless unless you're actually eating the dirt. But there are microbial and geochemical processes that can dissolve those minerals and solubilize the uranium into the groundwater. So it's mobilizing the uranium from the sediment into the groundwater where it can enter the drinking water supply. Just to describe my research, it's focused on the role of nitrate in the mobilization of this naturally occurring uranium. Uranium is a regulated contaminant by both the World Health Organization and the US EPA, which has set a limit of less than 30 parts per billion for drinking water. And to give you an idea of that, one part per billion is kind of like a teaspoon of sugar in an Olympic-sized pool, so we really don't want this stuff in the water. And those numbers are based on published research that's shown that um, ingesting uranium-contaminated water can lead to increased kidney damage, increased bone damage, and also an increase in the risk of cancer. There are areas, especially in central Nebraska, that do have uranium levels above the EPA maximum contaminant level, and water managers there are are searching for kind of effective solutions for treatment of their water supplies. And by understanding the concentrations and conditions that lead to nitrate-driven uranium mobilization, they can better create uh, policies and infrastructure to better protect the health of their citizens. When I complete my PhD, I hope to continue doing research either at a public university or a government lab. And this project in particular has a number of different components to it. There's the hydrology, the geology, the microbes, the chemistry. And taking part in this project has definitely allowed me to think from multiple perspectives. And this will definitely help me in my future endeavors.